Hi y'all, it's Skye and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to this week's Diamond Art Club sneak peek. First off, definitely want to say a big thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit. Let me show you what it is. It is Peacock by Raphael R. Trujillo or Trujillo. I don't want to say that wrong, but I know I did. <laughs> anyway, look how beautiful. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait to see the canvas. So this is a square drill kit. We can see that by the blue square here. This box did um, have a, a rough trip here. <laughs> it looks like it got quite beat up in shipping, but I'm confident that everything inside is going to be fine. We'll just take a look here on the back. There is some information on how diamond painting works. Here is the kit contents. On the side here, we've got a QR code to scan for 10% off. Bless it. <laughs> the corner. Man, you had a rough time, Mr. Peacock. I believe, right? That, the... The ones with the gorgeous plumage, those those are the males, right? I'm I'm pretty sure, because I really want to call him Mr. Peacock. Anyway, <laughs> let me take the plastic off of this box, and we will look at what's inside. Okay, the plastic's off, and, and me overthinking things while I'm taking the plastic off. Do you think that one is the female back there? <laughs> Maybe I should wait until we can look at, like, the larger sticker sheet, the whole canvas, whatever. I don't know why I am putting so much focus on that right now. Anyway, before I open the box, let me tell you the release information for this. So this one is going to release tomorrow, and that's going to be December the 17th. That will be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level members, and then 30 minutes later for the general access release. And now, now we can open the box. Also, Literally, as soon as I started this video, I started getting all of these Tornado Watch notifications on my phone. So apparently the weather is about to rapidly deteriorate. <laughs> so if this video gets a little, a little chaotic, then no one's going to be shocked, I'm sure. But just letting you know that there might be some rain sounds in the background. We are going to look at all of this more in just a second. Pull that big canvas out of there. Okay, let me show you the stuffs a little bit closer. Here is the smaller sticker. So this is just gonna give you information about the kit. You can peel this off and put it in your logbook. You can put it on the sides or the bottom of your box if that helps you with your storage situation. You can do anything you like with that. And then here is the toolkit. This is the newer style toolkit. I think it is probably the most prominent style now. We don't see many of the old tool toolkits anymore, but if you do happen to pull a toolkit out of a Diamond Art Club box and it doesn't look like this, like it's in a different bag, that's just the older style. It still has everything you need, but we're gonna take a look at what's in this one. Here is what was inside that bag. So we have got these sharp tweezers with the Diamond Art Club branding. Since this is a square drill kit, we've got these. These do not come with rounds. They are very, very sharp, so be sure and use this protective cover. We have also got our red wax. It's heart-shaped in this cute little container with a lid. And we've got our diamond painting pen with a grippy or squishy and it's this gorgeous orange. I've seen this a couple of times. It always makes me think of orange sherbet and it gives me a craving and it's doing the same thing now. I love this color, but the color does vary. So you may not get this color, but all the colors are very, very pretty. And then we've got the tray with a stopper. So this is the new style tray that is white. The other ones were clear so you could see through them, but this is a little better you can you can see your drills more easily in the tray instead of seeing like the surface that you've sat the tray on through it and it makes the drills harder to see so i am really happy with this new tray i think that's going to help me out a lot and then we've got a seven and a four placer if you enjoy multi-placing and of course we've got our bag of baggies this you can use for kitting up or storage of your drills 
And then here is the washi tape. Very cute. I love the hearts. Giving me a Valentine's vibe there. So what most people use washi for is to tape around the edges of their canvas. There's a little sticky edge that stays outside of the drill field so you never cover it up and you sometimes your sleeve might stick to it or pet hair or dust or something might stick to it. So keeping it covered will prevent that. A lot of people also use this to section off their canvas into smaller squares or rectangles for you to keep track of the section that you're working on. And then also you can just collect these. That's what I do. I love it. <laughs> I have so many. And then we've got this cute little cover minder. Absolutely adorable little unicorn. Oh, she's so shiny. So on the back, there are two magnets and you just separate the two like this and put the smaller one underneath the canvas. You'll fold your plastic cover back to where you want to start working and then set that one on top. They will lock together just like that and it will hold that plastic out of your way while you are working. Okay, toolkit is put away. We just had a really strong gust of wind. So that's making me slightly nervous, but I mean, don't worry about me. If, if I get like a really serious tornado warning, I will turn the video off. I'm not, I'm not going to try to film through a tornado. Okay. We are going to open this bag, pull out this canvas. Gosh, this is, this is heavy. And we will get the drills to come out this in. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness, the colors. I normally would not look at the drills first and I would look at the other items, but look at those colors. Is that an AB, that green? Maybe. These drills are so nice that I can't even hardly tell what the AB is. Is that a pink AB? That is such a big bag. And maybe a white AB? We are, we are absolutely going to take these out and look at them one by one. I'm just, I'm just having a little freak out moment because these are so gorgeous. I wasn't even looking at the side that shows them off the best. <laughs> look at that. I love every single one of these colors. <laughs> oh boy. I am really happy with that. Um, while I have this, I'll go ahead and tell you there's a label here on the drill packaging. So if you store your drills separately from your canvas, you'll still be able to match them up. Okay, I will put that away for just a little bit. We will look at the other things that came with the canvas. This is a thank you booklet. So on the inside here, you've got some QR codes. This one will take you to a video about how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group, which I highly recommend. You've got a coupon code. And then on the back, these QR codes will take you to the Diamond Art Club app. And then we've got the larger sticker sheet. So here is the larger version of the image that I referenced earlier when we were talking about the male and female peacocks. Now we can examine. Do you think that's what's happening, that this is the male and this is the female? I, I really want to roll with that. That's what I think. <laughs> Okay, so this larger sticker gives you the same information as the smaller sticker, except this one has a start and end date so you can track your progress. So this might also be really great for a logbook. So down here we have the dimensions. So the size on this is 22 by 31 inches or 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters. So not enormous, but I mean, it's, it's a good size. It's a good size. Obviously, we're going to we're going to unroll the canvas. You'll see it for yourself. So we've got 57 colors and how many ABs? We know we have a few because we already saw them. So any color code under 150 is an AB. So that gives us four and we already found like two or three of them. We, we saw that pink one. I think we saw the green one too. <laughs> so we will find the rest when we go through the drills. Also, I want to let you know that these stickers are individual so they peel off separately and you can put each one on its own drill container that makes kitting up such an easy process okay now let's look at this pretty canvas i know i'm going to unroll it sideways and then i'm going to readjust my camera so that we can see see it the right way but oh my goodness 
tell what beautiful I think I like the the flowers almost as much as the peacocks oh it's so pretty okay this is this is actually laying quite flat already but I am going to flip it over and roll it backwards and this this is safe to do because this is a poured glue canvas so it's not going to hurt it but also like you're seeing it it will flatten out diamond art clubs canvases will flatten out on their own without me doing anything but just for the purposes of this video so we can see it as flat as possible I'm going to go ahead and roll it and I will I'll do some adjusting with this table so you can see it the right way Okay, you guys, here are those beautiful peacocks in the right direction. Also, it's been like two hours since the last clip that you saw because we did have a tornado warning and I had to go camp out in the bathroom for a little bit. Now you can hear, well, I hope you can hear some nice rain background sounds and a little bit of thunder, but at the moment, no more tornadoes. But if there is, I will pause the video again. I'm going to be safe, don't worry. I do want to show you a few things about the canvas. So down here we have the title, we have the dimensions, and then this right here is the licensing information. So this lets you know that the author has given permission and is being compensated for their artwork, which is very important to Diamond Art Club and to me. So if it is important to you, that's where you can find that information. Also, there are legends on both sides. You see this one over here. So when you flip the canvas around, you'll still be able to access one of those. Then down here, we have information about Diamond Art Club socials and also another 10% off coupon. So what I am going to do now, I'm going to give you a full overhead view of this because I think I still, as much as I tried to get it all, I, almost, I was almost successful but I'm going to give you a full overhead view so you can see it all in the frame at one time. Isn't it gorgeous. I love these flowers. I mean, obviously I love, I love the peacock, Mr. Peacock and possibly another Mr. Peacock or Mrs. Peacock. I don't know enough about peacocks, <laughs> but I love the flowers. I love all of the pink. And then we've got some purple as well mixed in the, those purples up there. So much pink in the background. And then I love how this tree looks up there and then this this tree on this upper edge I I love it so nice I I love when you've got a back background with with things happening that's one of my favorite things sorry I just bumped you everything got all shaky I'm sorry now what we are going to do I didn't mention that we had yet another tornado warning and this is yet another amount of hours later <laughs> This video has taken me all day. We are fine. None of the tornadoes actually um, went through my area and it seems that there's only been minimal damage in the other areas near me. So that's, that's good news, but <laughs> the behind the scenes of this video would be hilarious. Anyway, we are going to look at drills now. So if you don't like this part, I will leave a timestamp down below for you to be able to skip to the part where we look at where the ABs go. We have two bags of 319, two bags of 3865, a 3761, and 3799, two bags of 701, and then 100. So this is our first AB that's pretty green. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these drills just have a special coating on the top that reflects the light in a different way, and it's so pretty. This is the way that a regular drill looks, so they are very sparkly, but these just reflect the light so differently, and it's so gorgeous. And then on the end here, we have 605. 
two bags of 890 and two bags of 310. 519, two bags of 702, 600, 993, 992, two bags of 699, 602, 113, so that's our next AB. This is the one we saw when we were looking at the big package. This is pretty pink, I love this. And a chunky bag, so we're getting a big bag of pink AB. I can't wait for us to look and find out where that goes. Then we have 844, 3865, 645, 604, 104. Ooh, so this is another AB. This one I don't see very often, but I love this. It's almost like a light tan color. I love this one with the coating on the top. It looks so good. And then we've got 803, 772, 336, 312, 125. So we got two bags of this AB. This pretty, like, very light minty green color. And two bags of it. This is going to be a shiny piece. Oh, I love it. And then 819. 920, 947, 3814, 402, 340, 898, 3776, 322, 823, 300, 740, 301, 3747, 3746, 162, 775, 646, 333, 209, 334, 814, 741, 208, 647, 3024, 3845, 327, 938, 211, 3325. That is all the drills. So if you skip to here, then welcome back. I have separated the ABs from their strands so we can look at where they go. So the number one symbol is going to be for this green, the 100, and then the number two symbol is this 104, and then number three is the pink, this 113, and then that leaves number four being the 125. So let's just start in the bottom corner and look and see what we can find. Okay, I see some of that green AB, that number one symbol through here. So some in, in the peacock here, some of the ones, but then also just speckled throughout. Also, I'm seeing some of the three, so already getting started with some of that pink AB which I love. And I think we're gonna see a lot of that pink AB with the flowers. And then here is some of that kind of tan, beigey tan AB, the number two. There's some more of that and then some more threes. Love that. Oh my goodness, I love it. And then of course over here, well, those are T's, sorry, <laughs> I was pointing the wrong thing. Here's the ones. There's some more of those. Gonna really brighten up this area of the peacock. 
peacock tail, peacock feathers. I don't think you would call it a tail, plumage. Okay, and then here's some more of the twos and plenty, plenty of those threes. Now I'm kind of wondering where is that minty green color, the four? Here we go, okay. That is where that is gonna go. Oh, that's a lot. Nice chunky sections of that all the way up through here. And then we're finding some more of the ones again. So some more of that green up at the top in the tree area, but still seeing some more of the fours. And then plenty of that one up here and the tree a lot of it through there still continuing on with that that light pastel greenish blue ab all through this area and then those threes that pretty pink ab all behind this this area behind the peacock this bright pink area lots and lots of that pink ab through there then there's just a little bit, just some little pops of the green AB in that tree. And then on down a few more. And then some more of that pink AB in the flowers. With a little bit of the green AB dispersed throughout. And then some of that tan color as well but really dominating with the pinks. Oh, I love that, it's <laughs> so good. So pretty much all of the pink flowers are gonna have some of that pink AB, but these like brownish orangey flowers, not to be outdone, they are also going to shine because of that tan AB. Some more of that over here. And then just some little areas where the one appears, the green AB, and then Oh, that purple. Oh, I love it. And then some more of the green AB in these areas. Still with the pink and the tan. Oh, that this, I love this flower. <laughs> this is excellent. And then we've got some more of the green coming down there. Some more of the tan, some more pink. Oh, it's so pretty. And then just some little pops of the one down here. Oh, that's that's quite a bit. That's more than a pop. There's a good bit of it through there. Now, let me take a closer look at the peacock because I know that we looked. We saw the green and then there's some of the tan through, through there. I just want to take another glance and see if I missed any ABs in there. We've got a good use of that green. I think that's going to be most of what we see. I don't see, I don't, I mean, I, I don't think we're gonna find any pink for sure, but I don't see the others either. So I think it's just gonna be the green in, in these little sections right through there. So really the ABs are going to be more present in the background than on the peacock itself. So that is an interesting choice and I'm, I'm kind of loving it because that gives me all the pink AB and I could not be happier. <laughs> I love the pink AB. So that brings me to the end of the video. I don't know if you prefer that I go through each AB one by one or if you prefer what I've just done where I just kind of talk about all the ABs at once and we just look at the whole canvas. I don't know which which you prefer, but let me know in the comments. Also, I should address color blocking versus confetti in this one. I really feel like this is more of a confetti piece. It definitely has a lot going on. I know that we just looked pretty closely at the canvas, but I'll bring it up again. It does look like there are a lot of nice lines of colors and that a lot of these are repeating patterns, like in, in these sections on the tail. So you've got like a purple and a white and then a green section and then this kind of teal and then the purple. So I don't know if, if this would be so confetti-ish that, that it would overwhelm someone who doesn't like confetti. I'm sure that the flower sections, like this in particular, is, 
there's a lot happening here, but still in lines, still with some pattern to it. So I don't know, that that's all going to be your own personal preference there. I definitely think it would, it would stray more towards the confetti side of things, but I don't know that it's going to be an overwhelming amount of confetti, but it, it does look like like there's going to, to be some. It's definitely not what I would call a color blocking piece for sure. So let me remind you again that this is going to release tomorrow and that'll be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level members or 30 minutes later for the general access release. So if you got your eye on this one, be sure to be ready at your release time. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.